Get a group of Oregonians into a virtual room. I do feel like our country's divided. And they may not agree. Every time it said that, it becomes even deeper and wider in the moment before. Everyone on this call has different backgrounds and beliefs. I chair the Black Caucus for the Democratic Party of Oregon. Chair of Polk County, the Republicans. Chair of the Amhill County Democrats, so uh, Yanira, I believe that we're, we're neighbors. Yes, uh, we I, are. I, are you able to raise your hands if you care about the place you live? There's basic common ground, but differing views quickly become evident. There is enormous inequality between races and classes. So could we agree to agree that that exists? No, I disagree. But the goal here. I'm an immigrant. I came here when I was 16. Is to find at least some unity despite those differences. I don't expect you all to debate and agree. If you look at outside your windows in the plane, all you see is a beautiful rivers, beautiful mountain. I don't see red state, blue state. No, we're Americans. Before we can get there, acknowledgement of individual experience is key. As a newly diagnosed HIV gay man, for people like me, it is life and death on the line when we vote. And we cannot have an honest discussion without a baseline acknowledgement that there are problems that create the division. And for some people, this is going to mean rules. Dr. Robin Henderson directs behavioral and mental health programs at Providence. What are ways that you can get around, you know, mediating those types of conflicts? The basic thing that we should be doing right now is practicing tolerance. Different beliefs are like all of the other wonderful differences that make the human experience fabulous. If we were all the same and we all looked the same and we all believed the same things, all those other types of things, it wouldn't be a very diverse world. So for this group, what does that look like? It needs to start with listening, which is not always easy. I think when we go back to the basics, we all agree that we want everybody, we would like everybody to be healthy and happy. To help uh, people who are feeling left behind on the Republican and the Democrat side or on any other side, the human side. It's not like this because I'm wearing a President Trump shirt that you're going to immediately hate me or because you're wearing a Biden shirt. That's what makes us human. Like Rosa, I am sure Rosa and I probably don't agree on a lot of things, but I'd love to sit down and chat with her because we could probably have a lot of things that we can talk about, family, friends. It doesn't have to divide. I, I don't know what it's like to be you, but I want to listen. I love Oregon. I want the best for Oregon. I believe we all do. The toxic federal policy, politics affect us in our community. They don't know what it's like to be Oregonian. We do. And we know what we need to, to move forward and to, to overcome this. For people of different beliefs, community service can be a good meeting place. To have shared experiences together towards a common good goal. And volunteering like that is a really great way to do it. And in a year with so much pain, a reminder of what everyone faces. What doesn't see race and what doesn't see gender or, or how you vote is that coronavirus. And we're all kind of built the same way, right? We're the same human beings. We really face that, that message when we saw how vulnerable we are. Look at us, we're wearing masks. We, we're standing six feet apart. We've made, we're on a Zoom call right now. Everybody knows how to Zoom. A year ago, we never heard of it. So it's kind of interesting to me how we can adapt as humans because we have to. With neighbors, friends, and family, there may need to be some rules before you gather. Establish those boundaries. Even if you can't find unity, you could discover strength through your differences. Don't call people names. Take turns. Practice kindness. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.